Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am bringing you the brow lamination video. Um, I took a poll when I did it the first time and you guys did want me to film whenever I did do it again. So it's been a month. It's been a month um, that I've done it. So I decided to do it again just because the hairs weren't just staying up the way that I wanted them to. So I'm like, okay, it's time to redo them which i'm glad i did i just like that it makes it look more fluffy more like you know that model kind of brow i just personally prefer it i know some people don't like it that's fine i personally do i think it just makes it easier for me to fill them in too when i have that shape it just it's just easier for me okay i like it. you don't have to like it it's fine um but here is the video that you guys did want Okay, so let's just get right into the video. Okay, so right now I have nothing because obviously we're going to concentrate on the eyebrows and we don't want no makeup, no nothing around them. My hair is up so it's out of my way. So let's let's do this. My necklace always gets inside my shirts. So the kit that I'm going to use and that I've used before so I know it's going to work. I don't remember when was the last time that I did my eyebrow lamination last time which was it's got to be more than a month at least a month at least a month I don't even know. you know what it's an easy way to check so the last time that I did it was in March it was at March 8th because I did it that night that I got them so it's been a month little bit over a month since I did them last so they aren't like fully staying up as they were obviously fresh but the kit that I used was the lash lift kit like you have charming eyes um, from this brand right here I mean I picked this up from Amazon there's a lot of different ones uh, so, I mean, go ahead, choose what you want. So, it just comes with this little kit. I took the other thing down. So, it comes like this. Um, it has the glue, the perm, the fixation, the nutrition, and the cleanser. Then it has lift pads and the clean tool. So, the lift pads are if you're going to do the lashes. I'm not doing my lashes because, I'm sorry, that's a no. Um... For that, you really do need somebody else to be doing them for you because it's just, there's no way you're doing it by yourself. So, this is the little tool that you use to basically comb them up and brush them up once they have the glue. Or, obviously, when you have the, on your lashes, you know. That's the tool. It's like just this little thing. It comes with um, three. I think it came with four and I threw one out, you know, because... I'm not going to use it again. So, um, yeah, this is the little kit that comes with it. I did go to cosmetology school. I'm not a cosmetology. I'm not cosmetology licensed. Not yet. Um, I have to take my test, but um, I like to do things myself. I've always loved to do things myself. My hair, sometimes my nails. I'm allergic to acrylic, so I don't do that anymore. But, I mean... I do my own gel nails at home um, right now I just have a uh, regular nail polish because we don't got time for gel right now <laughs> and I'm not committed to a color so that's why I don't do gel so anyways we're going to go ahead and prep the eyebrows so for that you're gonna basically clean them make sure that there's nothing um, on them so I'm going to quickly clean them and then I will be using the cleanser that comes with it as well. But first I just want to make sure I don't have no cream moisturizer on them because I do wear, I do use a mask at night to moisturize my skin. I keep moving my mirror over here. So... Um, I don't have the best eyebrows. I mean, I have an eyebrow enough to where you're like, okay, she's got brows, right? Like, I'm not bald. So, like, this one's basically all hairs there, which is great. It hasn't been like that for a while. Um, but, um, 
like I said, I don't have the best eyebrows. Okay, let's just get that out of the way. So, I mean, technically the instructions are in the back. I mean, they are for the lashes because it says um, use the apply the eye pads on the lids, etc., etc. But I mean, basically the steps are similar. I'm going to use a little fan to just help dry things so it's a little bit quicker. So, we're going to start off by applying the glue to the lash hairs so that they stick in the direction that I want them to. So I'm applying it to the lash, the lash, the eyebrow hairs, I'm sorry. So just applying it to all of my little hairs. I'm going to take a spoolie. I'm just going to take this one. This is a Sephora brush that comes um, with the spoolie. So it's like for your eyebrow, to do your eyebrows. So I'm just going to comb them up. In the direction that you want them so if you want them up do them up I mean once once you have the perm and it's done you can honestly mold the lash hairs any which way so they're not always just gonna stick up but it's just like you know you, you need to set them in a certain direction so like that. I'll do one and then I'll do the other one off camera just so we can get this situation going on. Now I do use cotton, what are they called, um, Q-tips. So what I do, I'm going to put it in the perm solution. Now this stuff does smell, okay guys? This stuff does smell. I like how I didn't take off the stopper, like has a stopper so I didn't even okay so I'm just oh, 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 oh. okay so I'm just gonna take the perm which is step one and I'm going to apply it to my eyebrow hairs like so I'm gonna close this back up because I don't want this to be a problem. I'm spilling things up in these. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my saran wrap, which I just have two over here. I don't know which one is the one that works better, which uh, I don't know. So I'm going to grab some saran wrap and I am going to just fold it in half because this is too big. And I'm just going to place it on top like so. Um, I'm going to set a timer for, let's do eight minutes. Let's do eight minutes. You can do eight to 12. I'm just doing eight right now. And we'll be right back. Okay, so. Been on my phone for those eight minutes. So my alarm just went off. We're about to um, go on to the next step. So I'm going to remove it. Okay. I'm going to wipe it up. Preferably not one that has. Oh, look, an eyelash, an eyebrow. Fell. I... Okay, so now we're going to move on to step two, which is the fixation. So, doing the same thing again using a q tip. Let me take out the stopper. These things come with stoppers. Don't lose the stoppers because you need to. Um, Put them back. So this one's blue. So I'm going to apply it all over the eyebrow. Like so. And then we're going to, again, 
do the saran wrap for eight, eight minutes. So just doing it like that. And then I'm going to do my timer for eight minutes. There you go. Okay, so time is up. Timer went off. Um, so now I'm going to remove these. And we are going to... Clean it off. Like so. And then we're going to do the nutrition so again getting another of the con swabs q-tips okay so i'm gonna go in with step three and again take off the stopper melissa um i'm gonna go in with another q-tip and i'm going to apply it through the lash the eyebrow hairs Like that. So again, this is not for everyone. Mm. Some people don't like the bushy eyebrow look. I personally like it. I think it looks good compared to this. I think this just looks more lifted, more fluffy so that's what I like so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one and I'll be right back okay so we are done I did both of the eyebrows um, I finished this one off and I did um, groom them up a little bit so I just uh, tweezed a few little hairs that were down here and I did trim them up just a tiny bit so I'm gonna quickly show you how I'm I do my eyebrows I mean it's it's not much. Um, I use the NARS. This is the uh, Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Medium 1 Custard. So I always go in first with concealer and I conceal. So basically I shape them out. It's just I find it so much easier to fill them in when you already have the shape and you know carved out mapped out which is what this technically does so I just map them out um, my favorite brush to do this is the elf eyeliner brush it's just a very flat um, brush and I feel like it's just easier for me to get in And then what I do is I'll use a, I use this fluffy brush right here. This is the Morphe M173 and I use that to blend out the edges. So there we have a shape. So now we can easily fill it, fill it in. And I use the Wet n Wild Ultra Ultimate Brow Micro Brow Pencil. Um, I love this. I love my e.l.f. one too. I, I usually alternate between that one or this one. So I'm just going to quickly fill it in. I personally don't like a harsh, really shaped in brow. I just want something like that natural. As natural as possible. I do do little flicks. So something like that. And then I'll brush them out as well. 
The thing about doing the brow lamination is that you can always move your eyebrow hairs wherever you want. Um, they're not just going to stay up like this. I just personally like it. I feel like my eyebrows look more full, more fluffy. Um, but I usually don't put anything in the front of my eyebrows. I like um, the eyebrow in here to look super soft. Um, it's just what I like. You know, some people like them boxy, which is like a big no-no for me, but you do you. Um, but yeah, it's just... Um, I like having them laminated because it's just easier to, to fill, easier to just have a shape already. And the hairs, like I said, they stay in place. And no matter how many gels I own, they never really make them, like, stay up. Unless I'm probably using, like, you know, gel or something. Um, but, yeah, and I, I like the way that they look, the way that they turn out. I mean, I also do have some sparseness in my eyebrows, but other than that, they're pretty good. Um, I totally can rock them like this and go out and whatever. Um, and even without doing the concealer or everything, um, I'll just do um, like a brow gel, like the Elf, the Wow Brow. Put that on and I can just be out and about and not really have to feel like, oh my God, I need to do my eyebrows at least. So... So there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little brow lamination tutorial for you guys to do at home. I know we're all at home right now and we are trying to maintain a little bit of beautification at home. So I know people are doing their nails at home and cutting their hair at home. I was this close. I'm not gonna lie. I was this close to cutting some bangs, but I was just like, no. I was going through my pictures and I was like, no. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, found it helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next one.